Hey guys, welcome to a new video. We've been using addressable LEDs for a few years now. And during that time, LEDs we use basically been the same. Well, it's time for a revolution. And I often order a new type of LEDs and LED strips as soon as they hit the market or AliExpress. But generally, you don't hear too much about those from me since it ends up being nothing special. But this time, oh boy, 2023 is going to be awesome for addressable LEDs. Today, I'm presenting to you this new 24 volt addressable neon strip, as I call it. Now, if you are the type of person that just wants to know if it works and what is the best, this 24 volt addressable cob LED strip is the brightest and most vibrant LED strip out there, hands down. Check out the links in the video description. The strip is fully compatible with the Dig Uno, Dig Quad, Dig Octa. So grab yourself a 24 volt power supply, one of the Dig boards and this LED strip and you're set. However, if you'd like more of my thoughts why and the technical reasons behind it, keep watching the video and I'll happily explain it to you. Welcome to 2023. Addressable LEDs have never looked better. As I already started in this video intro, Addressable LEDs haven't really changed that much since the introduction of the WS2812B in the 5050 package. I often order and check out new types of LED strip, but rarely do I see something really revolutionary. The last time I was really blown away was the Cobb 332 LEDs a meter addressable LED strip we looked at before, which is still the most amazing variant that I know of since each of those 332 LEDs are individually addressable. But with it being 5 volt and hella expensive, it was hardly usable for larger projects. What we're looking at today though, is a good compromise in my opinion, and something truly new. We're get again going to look at a Cobb LED strip, but this time it's 24 volt addressable. Not individually per LED addressable, that's basically technically impossible, but in my opinion, even with some compromises, this strip looks absolutely amazing and is the strip to recommend for any wrap around your room or similar style project. This new strip has a staggering 720 LEDs a meter. When you think about how they're able to cram 720 diodes in that small amount of space, it's truly amazing. Now, that number is a technical number, Basically, there are 240 red, 240 green, and 240 blue diodes in the space of a single meter. Calculating that way for a traditional 60 LEDs a meter strip would have 180 LEDs. Still, it's a massive increase. These diodes are arranged in five centimeter, about two inches, wide sections, and each section contains 12 of each color spread out over that section. So the sections as a whole light up in that color for that pixel, as you can see here. The reason for the sections or zones, as I generally call them, is the 24 volt. A single LED diode needs a voltage of around two to three volt. So 24 volt is way too high. And to drop the voltage, they make a circuit and have 
lots of them connected in series, and each LED drops down the voltage to make it work as a whole. This is nothing new, and all 12 volt and 24 volt strip have worked this way, with WS2815 being the exception. In normal terms, this means that this strip at 5 meter lengths has 100 zones, or at 1 meter length has 20 zones that are addressable. And on first thought, you'll say, ah, that's even less than 30 LEDs per meter, which we've already had for years and years. I use 60 LEDs per meter or more everywhere. And sure, that is partially valid. But in this case, with this strip, I'd actually challenge that argument. Because this is a cob strip, it means that sections are much less defined as with separate 50-50 LED packages we are used to. For those, we often try to get diffusers and make them perfectly blend together. But if that's our goal, this new strip has it beat since it's a cob material strip and basically already blends together perfectly on its own. No more, what diffuser should I get for perfect diffusion and a neon look? Any will do, basically. And that makes this new strip so amazing. Yes, it's only 20 zones per meter, but with any effect that blends color, it looks like awesome multicolored neon. Without the need for any additional diffuser or anything like that. So, we have excellent diffusion right from the strip itself. Another advantage that it has is that it's really, really bright. Because of its Cobb LED technology, it is able to output much, much more light than any standard WS2812B 30 LEDs per meter strip or even 60 LEDs per meter strip would be able to. Now, light output is hard to measure and compare, but we can partially also do so by just looking at the watts it consumes. If we take a look at my real world power sheet, we can see that 150 times WS2812B uses about six and a half amps or 32.5 watt while running the 100% RGB white solid pattern. And because of the high amps, it comes with all the voltage drop issues, needing power injection, thick cables for long lengths and all the other issues we all know too well. This new 24 volt addressable LED strip will draw about 120 watts using the same test. That is five amps, but since it's 24 volt, it is almost four times the wattage, 32.5 versus 120 watt. If we assume that both type of LEDs are about the same efficiency, the new 24 volt Cobb LED strip will be outputting four times the amount of light for the same length. Real world, the Cobb LEDs on the new strip are likely even more efficient, so it's likely closer to four to five times the amount of light, depending on the scenario and setup a little bit. And let me tell you, it looks absolutely awesome. At full brightness, any individual LED or even segment on a blended pattern completely falls away and it just looks like pure neon. Last thing I want to highlight is the 24 volt part. Because of this, voltage drop is much less of an issue. If you just want to run effects and single colors, hooking up 10 meters with a single injection works great. If you want to go beyond that, to say 15 or 20 meters, you'll need at least a front plus end injection for generic usage. But generally, if you're wrapping around your room, front and end 20 meters, that shouldn't be that big of an issue. And even if you have to run an injection wire, since it's 24 volt, that wire can be a lot thinner than it would have to be for five or 12 volt LEDs. So a bit of a conclusion. Let me talk in clear words. If you are looking for the brightest and most vibrant LED strip out there, this displaces my previous champion, the 12 volt 96 LEDs per meter WS2811 bright from BTF lighting. That strip uses about the same amount of power and has better quality LEDs versus normal WS2812B strips, but this new 24 volt Cobb addressable LED strip has it beat on all fronts and with the integrated diffuser, it looks so awesome. It's hard to convey on camera just how good this stuff looks. Now, are there downsides? Yes, sure. If you really wish to do pixel addressable effects, so where resolution matters, 
this isn't the greatest strip for that. And a traditional strip in like the, uh, I don't know, 144 LEDs per meter will have a lot more definition. If you'd like a more comp comprehensive comparison between LED densities and other options, make sure to watch this video. No, oh, it's over here. Uh, I made a little while back. Back to the 24 volt cob addressable LED strip. If we're talking color, blended effects like rainbows and such, this strip will look absolutely excellent for that. Also, if you're bouncing the light off a wall or something like that, the difference in re resolution will also be hardly noticeable. Another two points to highlight is that this is a 12 millimeter wide strip, not 10 millimeter, and that it isn't the cheapest option out there. Still, with about 50 bucks for five meters, it isn't crazy expensive either. In regards to compatibility, all the dig boards, so the dig uno, dig quad and dig octa system are fully 24 volt compatible. So you can immediately use this new type of strip on those boards. Software wise, WLED also supports them and they work great. As a last note, several variants of this strip have popped up on AliExpress recently, and I basically tested them all. <laughs> Only this type I was really impressed with. The others, much less. So make sure to follow the links in the description to the right type. I have linked it from two separate suppliers and I bought and tested from both. And well, that's it for this video really. Finally, something new and refreshing in the addressable LED space. It's hard to convey in a video just how awesome these look and I think it will be a game changer for a lot of people either in ease of use or just in the looks they have versus a traditional 50-50 package-based LED strip. I will certainly be using them and recommending them to people going forward. And we're not done yet. I have another revolutionary strip coming up in a little bit. It'll be a few weeks or months, but it's coming. That one will make addressable LEDs much more usable for primary lighting than they have been thus far. So make sure to stay subscribed for that. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And I hope to see you back in another video. And everybody talked about her. Bye. Said there must be something wrong with this girl. All she said to them was live.